guys, this is OG3 here again with part 4 of Pokemon Glaze Modified News Lock. And we are still in this godforsaken land, the Milkshake Swamp. Yeah, I know guys, we're still here. On the bright side, we have our second Mon, and now our real is strong enough to where we can actually rush through it a bit more. Now, let's get back to it. But first, let me introduce my team. Sorry guys, if the last... If part 3 might be a bit longer than I anticipated. I didn't realize that time flew that much. It might be near 30 minutes or it might be another 30 minutes. I don't know. I haven't started editing yet. But after looking at the recording, I saw that was a bit higher than I expected. Sorry again. And I'll make this like towards the 20 to 30 minutes. I'll make it a little bit shorter hopefully. Or try to. Our first member of the team, our starter, the Rio Adventures. He is level 14. And we'll check out his stats. He is a hardy nature. And he is level 14. These are stats. And his moveset is quick attack, foresight, focus punch, and counter. Focus punch. I really want to get it off. It's just going to be super satisfying. It's like a warlock punch in Smash. You know what I mean, guys? If you have Gandalf, Ganondorf. So I don't know where Gandalf came from. Ganondorf. And you press that special button, the B button. And you land it. The Warlock Punch. Guys, you know how satisfying it is? That is automatic bragging rights amongst your friends and everything. It is insane to land that. Anyway, we have that reload. Next, our second mod we caught last uh, last part. We have Spotty. Not a very creative name, I know. Sorry, guys. I'll try and create a more, re more original name next time. But it, I'm not good with names. Um, he is the same nature. The exact same nature. He is a shroomish weir looking for that grass fighting type of loom. He leaves spores on contact, which is a nice ability. We met him at the Milkshake Swamp, and his moveset is Absorb and Tackle. Not bad, not bad, guys. And I don't think we'll be doing any contests anytime soon, of course. Anyway, let's get this part off the road, right? Let's do it. Let's start it up. Let's go. Anyway, we... Oh, wow, guys. I was running. I was literally one pixel away from landing in that Poison Ivy and literally having to rush all the way to the Pokemon Center again. That would have been incredibly annoying. Okay, Aramont's high enough level. What's going on here? You know what? I'm gonna... Just in case, I'm gonna heal up my Mon. Um, Shroomish, I guess. Level 18 Shroomish. I won't heal him up yet, the Riolu, because I don't think I need to as of yet. Let's see what's going on here. These columns weigh nearly five tons. I wonder how ancient peoples manage peoples. Manage to move them here. Yeah, there are some dialogue issues. In oh man, that meat. Sorry guys, that forced me. Once I got underneath the blue scientist, it forced me to move into the spot. Sorry again guys, I want to talk to everyone, guess that won't be happening. Blake. Ah, OG3, you came just at the right time. As I suspected. Another grunt snuck back while our backs were turned. Look up there, by that tablet. It looks like some ancient writing on the tablet. He seems very suspicious, he must be up to no good. <laughs> this is the most blanket profiling I've ever seen guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Only in Pokemon games, guys. Only in Pokemon games. Do you want to see a member of the Elite Four in action? Already? OG3? Come with me. Then, Inventor, it's best you stay here where it's safe. I like how we just met Blake, but he's willing to pretty much risk our life or put our life on the line just to make him look a little bit cooler. I think that's awesome. <laughs> I thought I ran you scum off with your tail between your legs. Foo, foo, foo. I snuck back here to get the information I was employed to find. They will welcome me back at headquarters like a hero. I have no time to play games with Pokemon League now. So long, idiots. And he just runs away. His tablet. Inventor. Are you two all right? You scared off that grunt good and proper, it seems. Wow. Amazing. Hmm? I'm done here for now. It's getting nasty. He barely looked at it. He just looked at it and said amazing and walked away. He's the worst research slash scientist I've seen yet. 
Oh, well, whatever. Thank you, Blake and OG3, for assisting me. Please, take this. Pokecom? What's that do? OG3, you put away the Pokecom. That Pokecom is a device of my own invention. It translates Pokemon speech into human speech and vice versa. We got that this early? I thought that was later in the game. That's awesome. We can actually talk to Pokemon now. I remember that being a huge thing with this game, and I absolutely loved it. You can finally talk to Pokemon. Hopefully, it will help on your journey. Text translated with the Pokecom will appear or will be displayed with this color text. So we'll know whether it's a Pokemon text by this green text. I'll be going to my home now. I'll be much happier there where I can work in peace. See you around, OG3. The, these runes are amazing. Why are they here? That's a good question. Like, I don't know why the scientist didn't ask that at all. What just happened? Whoa. What happened? Did I slip through the universe again? Oh, I thought I heard a commotion. Do you remember me? My name is Luke. I was the one who brought you back to your room last time. As I predicted, you managed to slip through again. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'll have to hold off explaining again. Would you mind helping me? I'm looking for a mud kit that wandered off. It's somewhere around here, but I can't find it anywhere. I'd appreciate if you could look around for me. If you find it, I'll explain what's happening as best I can. I completely forgot. Let me heal your Pokemon. I didn't even have to use a potion on my Shroomish. I literally just wasted a, poke a potion. Dang it. Thank you for your help. So guys, he healed our Pokemons. So we should have full PP. We're in a completely different dimension, so we can actually catch one Pokemon from this area as well. And then, um, yeah, that was Luke from the very beginning where we slipped through dimensions. Apparently we did it again. He was right. Oh, there's a Mudkip. Guys, this is clean. If I can catch a Mudkip, that'd be amazing. I might just train the Mudkip really instead of the balloon. He jumped into the mud. Mudkip disappeared into the mud. I guess we don't catch it? That's weird. I thought we did. Maybe somewhere else around here? Oh, a Pokeball. Max Ether. That's solid. We actually could use that. I don't know. I always have a habit of saving the good items until later and just never using them. I don't know if you guys do that too. But it's a, it's just a bad habit. I need to start using them when I think they're applicable. Okay. He looks like a shark underneath like that. We attack! Okay, cool. We can actually catch this Mudkip. The problem is, I think our adventure, our Mon adventures might be... Oh, never mind. He's level 10. We should be good with a quick attack. I don't think one quick attack will kill him. Adventures isn't strong enough to actually do that. Let's hope to... It won't kill him. Oh, it didn't kill him at all. It wasn't even close. We need to do one more quick attack and throw Pokeballs at him. This could be cool. And I think I caught, I think I found a name for this Pokemon. Since it was always a water and ground type, and I always thought that was odd the first time I played Gen 3, I'm going to call it Anomaly. I know it's, a, it's not a great name, but it does emphasize what I always thought over the years. It's a ground and water type, and water moves should be non-effective against it, but it's neutral to it. I always thought that was kind of odd. So, oh my god! Holy crap, guys. We had a crit quick attack, and did, he has one HP left. We got incredibly lucky. Okay, we're going to throw some um, Pokeballs now and try to catch this Mon. Since we are in a completely different dimension in a different area then, and since this is technically a static Mon, this, is still, this would be a legal Mon then. And because of that, we we're able to catch it. Since it was a static Mon... We are able to catch it. Um, anomaly. Anomaly. I think that's how you spell it, guys. If I didn't spell it right, this is going to be incredibly awkward. <laughs> and okay. Let's check this Pokemon out. 1 HP. He had 31 HP. He has 31 HP. That's not bad. He's a careful nature. Water type. Ups moves. Ups water moves in a pinch. That is not a bad ability. That's solid. He has a tackle, growl, mud slap, and water gun. A solid moveset for a beginner mon or a level 10 mon. 
and he will probably, I th believe he evolves at level 16, so six more levels, and then we'll have a, I forget what was the second evolution of Mudkip. OG3, excellent work. The Pearl Tier Universe is working again, but you have to hurry before it shuts again. I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Get to the portal. I guess we're just going to leave without knowing anything. This seems like a reoccurring theme already. I wonder how much longer this is going to be happening. Anyway, that. I wonder how much longer or how much more of the milkshake songs we have. These columns are in proportion with the golden ratio. Even a thousand years ago, math was important. What's the golden ratio? These columns, we've already heard this guy talk. But what about this guy? This is the one we haven't heard yet. Bizarre symbols are carved along the base of these columns. I'm trying to cipher them. Well, it seems like we don't really have much left to do in this area or anything really. So we can just leave. And is he a water is he still a water type? He's just a water type at the moment. Once we get Swampert, I believe that's when he changes to a ground type. Right now he's not an anomaly, he's still a normal Pokemon, he's a water type. I'm not sure if it's next evolution or the last evolution that he becomes a ground type too, but um, he'll become a true anomaly then. Also, to the right of this guy above me that I'm about to battle, is that a poison ivy in the tree? I've been seeing them a decent amount. I think those are poison ivies in the tree, which seems kind of pointless, but I guess it adds a nice detail to the game. <laughs> it looks nice. <laughs> A Kakuna. I haven't seen those in a while. Anyway, oh, it's a Kakuna, guys. We can finally test drive our focus punch. Focus punch. Come on, harden, harden, harden. Come on. He hardened. We can finally fo do a focus punch. And guys, since he's just going to harden up, he has no other moves, we can really just spam focus punch on this Pokemon. If he doesn't die to the first one, of course. Oh, that barely did anything. Okay. This is going to be a lot of focus punching, I see. <laughs> focus punch. <laughs> Tightening our focus. Use Harden again. This is going to become no annoying later on because we have no special moves. We only have physical moves with our Adventures mod. So we're really just going to have to deal with the Harden in this case. And since counter won't really do anything, it's literally just focus punch and quick attack. So this is going to be incredibly annoying. Focus punched. Okay, it should take one more focus punch to deal with him. Hopefully. But we'll see how it goes. If not, it'll just be one more. But it's just annoying to deal with this mod. He's literally just prolonging the battle more than it needs to be prolonged. And focus punched. Yes, he's down. Honestly, I probably should have switched to my Breloom or my Mudkip and let them get some of the experience, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We can train them up a little bit later on. I got $64. That's double than the rematch trainer. It's a proven fact that rain dampens fire type moves. Oh, so that's actually good for you guys, since you're all bug types. I'd rather not go through the parties and ivy, I'll just battle these guys here. I'm searching for ancient artifacts that might have belonged to the people who lived in this swamp long ago. Well, he is to the left of that ruin, so he probably came through here, unless he came from up above. If he did come up from up above, then he's just a little far away and no one feels like telling him. Which is funny, I guess. <laughs> the bug catcher, Nick. Would like to battle. Nick sent out Pineco. Pineco is a solid mon. But I am worried it might self destruct. So, if that's the case, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Because I'd rather not lose a mon to a self destruct. You guys know what I mean? Okay, you just use tackle. Tackle's fine. But if you can self-destruct, which I'm pretty sure all Pine Coast won't know right off the bat, this is going to be a really extremely annoying battle. Hopefully I won't die to it. But since he's only doing 
four damage per one, and that has about a third of the strength of fat. I only foresee maybe 12 damage. Okay, this is reaching territories that I don't want to reach into. I can do one more quick attack, and I should be able to take him out next turn. Okay, thank god he didn't do self-destruct. So I'll be able to take him out with my priority move quick attack. And then, no! Oh, thank god. I thought that was self-destruct. I almost had an aneurysm, guys. <laughs> okay, good. If he goes for protect again, it doesn't really matter. As long as he doesn't go for self-destruct and gets priority with that for some reason. Okay, good. We're fine. That was a crit. The one I didn't need it to be was a crit. Oh, well. <laughs> Butterfree. Not bad. I might... You know, guys, I'm going to switch... No, I'm not. Butterfree is going to be such a high, much a higher level than um, Shroomish. And she's the final of all form. He's the final of all form. Since it is a male Pokemon. As you can see in uh, near the name. Let's start off with a quick attack. And see how much damage that does. Okay, it's going to take three quick... Oh, no. Oh, my God, guys. We almost just died. To confusion. We might have to sack off a Shroomish. This is not good, guys. Okay, we switched to Spotty. Use confusion again. Thank God. Actually, guys, we might have to change mods entirely and go with our Mudkip. I did not see this becoming an issue. This, wait, dang it. Guys, I don't want to restart. This is already an issue. I should have grinded. I didn't know there'd be this mon right here. I, I'm going to send out... Confusion is a special move. So let's see which Pokemon has the greatest special defense. It is the Mudkip. And he's not super effective against it. And he's got decent enough attack. Not really. It's actually really a bad attack. Okay, I guess we're going to go with the Mudkip. We just need to do enough damage to it. And then we can... It's just spamming confusion. Oh, we survived. Guys, yeah, we might we're gonna have to sack off this mon. Dang it. I really wanted a shroomish or a balloon. This is incredibly annoying people. Anyway, we're gonna go with our mudkip. Hopefully he doesn't die. If he does, this is a... Oh, I really want a Swampert. And he'd be a clean Mon. Ah. Anyway, let's go with... It's a ground type and floating, I believe, right? Let's go with Tackle, then. Confusion, how much damage? Six. It's perfect. Oh, we can win. Guys, we can win this. He'll only do 12 damage max. Anyway guys, I'm back. We got off a tackle. Sorry that um sorry that happened. Um we got off a tackle and now we have we just need to not die this turn. That's it. Use confusion, come on, don't be a crit, don't be a crit, don't be a crit, don't be thank god. You got a high roll seven too. Okay. Oh my god. Please be the only mon he has. Please be the only mon he has. Please be the only mon he has. Please don't have any more. Please don't have any more. If he does, we are screwed. No. Oh, a Metapod. We might be able to do this. God dang, I wish I didn't waste that potion. I needed it so badly. Guys, let's hope he doesn't know Tackle and he just knows Harden. 
If he knows any other moves, I'm screwed. Incredibly screwed. Let's go with a focus, I guess. Come on, no tackle, no tackle, no tackle, no tackle. Yes! He doesn't know tackle. So let's just end this Pokemon quick and then get out of here as soon as possible. But I'm also not certain if there is a trainer at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run back to the town before Milkshake Swamp. And just heal up. I get to still keep my Mudkip and I get to keep my Adventures Mon Poke or Rio. Oh my god, Anomaly and Adventure survived. Wasn't it incredible? Dude, I hate you. <laughs> you almost killed me. Alright, let's get out of here. Carefully. Let's see if I have any more potions. If I do, it's a godsend. Nope, I don't have any more potions. Just in case, I'm going to switch Mons to my Mudkip Mon. And get out of here as fast as possible. Okay, hopefully I can run. Ekans! I didn't realize there were Ekans here. Everyone's almost dead. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's run away. That's all we can do now. <laughs> we gotta run away with our tail between our legs. Run, 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 run. <laughs> this is the saddest beginning to a um, news lock ever. <laughs> we almost just died in the first swamp. Oh my god. Now we have to buy more money to get more potions. Okay. <laughs> That was bad. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Oh my god. <laughs> um, let me get back to it. So, we need, we have healed up, but now we have lost Spotty. So, I need to put him into the PC. Dang it. Oh man, I had big hopes for Spotty. Oh well. I guess we'll just deposit him. And now we have Anomaly and Adventures left. We'll see how this goes. So far, we're fine. But at the moment, we are in desperate need of potions. We have only enough money for one potion. Just one. And it's not looking good because of that. So because we only have enough money for one, I'm going to buy a Energy Powder. For 50. Yes, we'll go broke. <laughs> okay. That's all we needed. Let's run back. And now we have to run our way through the swamp again. Which is incredibly annoying. Anyway, I think Mudkip is in the front. I might as well train him a bit. So I might take on that Caterpie trainer. Here he is. I'll just retrain him, rematch him. Maybe get $32 out of it. And then uh, Mudkip will grow up at the very least. Because Mudkip was the real hero of that Butterfree battle. He was able to beat him. Good thing I healed him up instead of going to the adventures. And you had barely enough health to take him. Spotty, you will be missed, but you did help. Um, you helped my other two Pokemon. If we didn't have Spotty or Mudkip, or, sorry, Anomaly, or the initial attack by my Mon Adventures, we would have lost that battle. Like, if everything didn't come together there, we would have lost entirely. That barely did any damage. We'll go with attack. But since it's all- oh, guess we didn't even need to go with- I was gonna go with Water Gun next since it's raining. But he just destroyed him with a Tackle. I can't wait until these two Mons, um, Adventures and Anomaly actually learn some good moves. Because right now I only have Tackle, Quick Attack, and Water Gun on those two. 
Mudkip with the water gun tackle essentially being the only good ones. Mud Mudslap's good, but it's just a really weak move. And it only serves purpose to basically lower um, X, um, accuracy. And besides that, it doesn't serve too much of a purpose otherwise. But it is a solid move. Okay, watch out for the poison ivy. We don't have any antidotes. And then we run through. And then we run through. Okay. Oh wow, I'm surprised we haven't run into any Pokemon through the grass yet. Oh, we did, but like, I'm surprised we just were able to get through that. Okay, I'm not sure if there's a trainer at the end, but I'm assuming or planning or expecting there could be one. And hopefully I am prepared because of that now. Okay. Is there not one? I guess not. I'm at the next um, city. Ocean View City. Oh, that is perfect, guys. We are at Ocean View City now. Nice. That is perfect. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to stop here. And, oh, man, I talked to her again. Guys, I think I'm going to stop here for today. Um, we got a lot done. We finally got through Milkshake Swamp. We almost got completely bodied by a Butterfree that knows confusion because it's super effective to two of my mons. One died today. We lost our Shroomish, but we still have our Anomaly and Adventures mons. Guys, if you did end up liking the video, please subscribe and click on the like button. We both know I need it after losing my mon Shroomish a spotty. So again, guys, have a great day and see you next time. Peace, pimps!